Hey everybody, it's Jamie here. Uh, welcome to Orlando, Florida, but not for long. Our holiday has just come to an end and we're about to take a shuttle back to Melbourne Airport, uh, which is on the Space Coast, the East Coast of Florida. It's not a very well-known airport, especially to us Brits. So um, come with me, I'm gonna show you around the airport and we're gonna take a look at what the TUI flight is like from Melbourne to London Gatwick. Everybody asleep, time to get up, time to go back to the cold weather. <laughs> We've arrived at Melbourne Airport and the bus has dropped us off literally at the check-in area for Tui, which is right here, look. So that's very handy, very convenient. Right, so we are very much curbside. Let's see what this experience is like. Good air con in here, by the way. Right, that was the quickest check-in ever, considering how many of us there were. There were about 13 desks open, so good job, Melbourne. Right, so we have a shop over here to the left and the VIP lounge over here to the right. At the moment, the lounge is actually before security. Let's have a quick look in here, shall we? So a few souvenirs, some light refreshments we've got crisps chocolate drinks melbourne airport is not yet finished by the way hence all the work's taking place we're good to go though all right we've just passed through security which was probably the easiest and friendliest we've ever experienced coming to america so thank you melbourne and i've never seen this before you actually have somebody playing music here how awesome is this <laughs> Right, so I don't imagine there's gonna be a huge amount in here. There's a shop over here. There are some grab and go items as well from the shop past security. So you've got different kind of wraps. You've got Italian sandwiches, turkey, provolone cheese, Ham and cheddar. Oh, mm -hmm. look, bar. We've got a bar. Pardon our growth. You know what? I completely accept your growth. Thank you. What a calm, friendly check in and experience so far. Oh, Dunkin' Donuts. So obviously at the moment as the airport is growing there aren't a huge amount of food options which is probably why oh look there's a bar sorry you see how easily distracted I am there's a bar right in the middle um, so at the moment you're given vouchers to redeem here for hot food and beverage so look we weren't expecting this you're given an economy voucher which is good for uh, a choice of hot or cold meal, fruit and snacks, soft beverage, milk or water. And you can use that here. And this is, I suppose, just temporary whilst there aren't many food options. But actually, you can get salad, uh, fried chicken sandwich, hamburger, hot dog, ham and cheese sandwich, etc. So I think that's great. We haven't had to pay extra for that. All right, so here's our free meal, which is quite cool, really. So I've gone for the um, hamburger. You have lettuce, onion, tomato here in this little bag, so you can add what you want. You've got ketchup, mustard, mayo. They've also thrown in some chips, some crisps, an oatmeal raisin cookie, an apple, and you can choose your drink as well. How awesome. So I only counted, I think, seven departure gates. So clearly one of the benefits of coming to Melbourne Airport is just how quite calm it is today they're expecting 10 flights in total in the departure area as well we've got um some confectionery over here i think i can see aftershave perfume as well jewelry sunglasses purses etc and of course you've got the tiki bar itself you might even have a cocktail here and there you go the runway is out there. Not a very busy one. Not yet, at least.
Ah, I was just wondering if they had any charging stations and these are a little bit unique because you actually don't need to your own cables. Right, the Tui plane that we are supposed to be taking back to London is due in any minute. I reckon this is going to be our gate here because the um, staff are gearing up by the looks of it. And there she is, like clockwork. Welcome to Melbourne. It's boarding time, gate seven of seven. See ya, Florida. Right, so, as I've said before, um, not everything's completed here, but it honestly works, I promise you. There she is, our chariot, or he, or non-gender specific, of course. Okay, I've got a, oh, so now Matthew wants me to tell you that they're still laying concrete because they're still finishing the airport. I don't want to go home. I don't want to go home. Down we go, 32G. I can see our seats, extra leg room, and here we are. We're gonna be all right here. Plenty of room. So we've got a Blanky and a pillow, water not included, I'm afraid. Bring your own. Leg room, ahoy! Bye bye, Florida. <laughs> As modeled by Matthew. Show the comfort face. <laughs> So obviously another benefit of departing from Melbourne Airport is that you don't have any planes in front of you to wait for when you are taxiing. Awesome.
Right, let's see if we can catch some dreams on this dreamliner. Night no, night, no, everybody. And we made it. There's no nice tropical carpet like there is at Melbourne, I'm afraid, at London Gatwick. Very painless passport control this morning, which is always appreciated after a long flight. Here comes Mr. Googly Eyes. Not too long wait today, not bad. And there you go, folks. That is the two year experience from Melbourne, Florida to London Gatwick. I'm now gonna go home and sleep. See you later. As always, thanks for watching and don't forget to follow Travel Blog Jamie on Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube.